Okay, I just came out of that Vercamps Visitor Center right there. And I got a nice book here from the Cole Brothers. I'm gonna go by their studio. This guy's in the early 1900s. Did some really unbelievable stunts and things to get the, get the first photographs of this beautiful canyon. Anyway, I'm right here. One last view before I head, uh, head back to the El Tavar. Looking down at the, uh, looks like that's probably the Bright Angel Trail. All the way down to the plateau again, one more time. And you can see off to the right, that's off to the east. Direction of Colorado, and we're gonna get our books here and move on down the trail. Again, one last look at Ver Camp's museum store since the 1800s. There it is. There we are. All right. Here we go. You know, I my selfie sticker. Here we go. And uh, you see a little shady spot here, but now it's warming up nicely, as it usually does in November. There's somebody getting a selfie photo way near the edge. Oh no, don't become part of the landscape there, buddy. And you see way out there to the north rim, how beautiful clouds starting to break up, as they usually do when it warms up. Way on down there, let's take a look that direction almost in a vertical drop there I'll move in this direction head back home to the El Tavar right here we go Looking off again to the east, and we'll be heading west towards the Bright Angel uh, Hotel, and down where the Bright Angel Trail begins. I'll be doing that tomorrow about the same time. I'll probably be already an hour into it. There we go. And again today, today's November 6, 2019, about 11 o'clock, and. Uh, uh, we're going to be flying in the canyon this afternoon. Take my sweetie, let her see it the right way. Well, pilots like to see it from up above. Rhythm of erosion. They got all these neat little signs here on the way. I'll let you know what you're looking at before you get to it. One last look. Thank you. We have plenty of shots here. And each of these uh, major rock formations, I'm sure, have a name. Strangers uh, like, like to name these plateaus and buttes. And you see the trail heading down the plateau. It's a long way. <laughs> All right. So we're going to uh, head towards the Hopi house now. Get away from the rim. Ah, there I can breathe now. <laughs> All right, the Hopi house. One last look at it. And there's Old Glory again. 10 o'clock last night, she wasn't out because it was not properly lit. Good. Glad they know their proper flag procedures. And as you can see, we get over here and kind of take a left-hand view. There we go. You see the folks there at the edge? Right about there. Bright angel. And that's what they're looking at. Okay, and see, they're over here. And towards the El Tavar. Right next to the Hopi house. There it is, it says. It's a historic landmark. Okay. It's wheelchair accessible, store hours 9 a.m. to 5. They got a lot of ni nice, neat things too. All right, we go this way. Let's go through the front entrance. Right the roundabout here. Okay, this one you see in the movies it says idle free zone. Make sure you turn your engine off. 
going to bleed the ozone any more than we have to. All right, there it is, El Tavar. One more look at the front entrance, we're going to stop filming. All right. GoPro, stop recording.